Hello everyone, it's Kritik here from IT Rebels and today in this video we'll be learning about Remix IDE. It is an integrated development environment which allows us developing and deploying our smart contracts on Ethereum and local chains. This uh, this is just a normal code editor like VS Code but it, they have some best features like solidity smart contract compilers and other extension too but uh, what i really like about remix is it doesn't require anything to uh, begin with it, they have already uh, added everything for us like we can just start writing our own smart contract uh, then just compile it compile owner.soul they will give give us the abi and byte code uh, we can publish it to ipfs font and then we can just deploy our smart contract here so let's see what this uh, solidity uh, remix id is all about so remix id help us to build a smart contract way quicker than normal first they we can write our smart solidity smart contract here on remix so let's create a smart contract create a file name my smart contract s m a r t smart c u n d r a c t contract dot s o l so this is how you can create a smart contract with the extension dot s o l you have created your smart contract we will use a license identifier which is xpdx license identifier which is very important to write uh, in solidity we, uh, in smart contract because we the, all this smart contract is open source and you probably will open source it and this is how you will let others to know that it is uh, okay with me like uh, you can use this smart contract for your own purposes i will just go for mit license mit this is how we all developer love remix id because they show every bit of uh, information about code if there is some warning or error for now they are telling us that uh, pragma solidity is necessary so what is pragma solidity so we have to define the version of solidity which we are using so p r a g m a pragma S O L I D I T Y Solidity version 0 0.8.0. After every line of code, you have to add this semicolon. Then we have we can create our smart contract. Contract then contract name. I will say my contract. My contract. Twenty contract. I created my smart contract. Give some name. Strng string name then function f u n c t i o n function set a name right and a n name so it will take string s t r i n g string as an argument and with name and n a n name and set string as a name so i have written a smart contract uh, here uh, like i created a string and then created a function uh, to change that string it is like i am setting a owner name of this smart contract and every time i call this function i can change the owner name so let's see how remix is helping uh, us to deploy this smart contract so just a quick feature uh, you can just plus and minus uh, to zoom in and zoom out uh, in remix id and then we must use this compiler to compile our smart contracts or you can just use uh, this auto compile option uh, inside this uh, compiler to whenever you save something uh, this will automatically get compiled and there is one more other feature like uh, if we want to use any solidity uh, language above 0 0.8.0 then we can use it like this caret it will tell that we can, we are okay with any solidity compiler uh, above 0 0.8.0 so we can just compile our smart contract and an abi will gen get generated and a bytecode will get generated 
we will see what is an ABI and bytecode right now. For that, let's go on VS Code. Control V. So this is our ABI. Copy bytecode and paste. So this is our bytecode. It is a long text here. As you can see, let's see what it is. ABI is application binary interface, which is just like an API. Uh, it uh, it is very much needed to uh, talk with smart contract because uh, it will define what name what are we doing like func we are calling a function call set name and that set name accepts an input of name with the type of string so this is all about uh, ABI uh, it help us to uh, interact with uh, smart contracts and this is bytecode let's see what is bytecode bytecode is this this long uh, string of numbers so what it is uh, this is the bytecode and only it this part will be deployed as a smart contract on ethereum blockchain let's see how we can deploy our smart contract using remix id we have already compiled our smart contract and let's deploy it so this is our smart contract and we are using remix virtual machine so what is this virtual machine and what are the other options we are using currently remix virtual machine berlin or london we can use anything so they provide us a virtual blo uh, test blockchain and with the, this test blockchain we will have some accounts ether accounts with test ethereum only available in this network because everything on ethereum blockchain is a transaction and transaction costs some money uh, that's why we for testing purpose we will be using in this virtual environment as you can see we can set the gas limit here and we can transfer money uh, so, some ethereum or way uh, to our smart contract using this value value so our contract is already selected let's deploy it as you can see there is no transaction record deployed contract there is no contract deployed we can deploy here uh, transaction recorded one and our contract has been deployed my contract has been deployed we will see all of this smart contract is here we can just set our name, string set name fun we can use our set name function uh, like i can say critic k r i t i k that's my name and transact our transaction has been successful uh, let's see what we have said the name to my name critic so uh, but there is no way we can uh, see what's uh, inside name once the contract has been deployed we can't change this contract it's better to test it on your local machine and before doing anything on blockchain we can't see what inside this name so we must uh, do something to uh, see what inside this name so let's make this public and it will uh, get it will get a public for uh, call function for this uh, name variable and then redeploy our smart contract recompile it first then redeploy it redeploy as you can see we have new smart contract available for us and we can call it my name so string there is nothing inside this string name because even though uh, they are very similar smart contract but they are completely different because uh, anything a little bit of change can uh, make this smart contract a lot uh, different first let's copy this old uh, smart contract address and I will show you this is our old smart contract address and this is our new smart contract address as you can see it's totally different like two different things so it's better to delete this and use this one okay so 
we have deleted the wrong contract it's it was a good uh, thing that i did uh, like by mistakely so let's delete this one also and we have those smart contract addresses uh, we already copied this and we can just load this smart contract using this address and boom if you have those address you can you uh, load this smart contract from anywhere like it's it's on blockchain so congratulations this is how develop uh, ethereum development works uh, remix id provides us this much flexibility uh, in building a smart contract using solidity let's see uh, let's set some name r i t i k for our variable so let's set this and it is now uh, available to see so as you can see we have we can set this name this is how smart contract works so this is how uh, ethereum remix id is also helping us to build a logic behind ethereum this was uh, these are all the necessary stuff you should know about remix id and you when you are entering into ethereum blockchain and as a developer and uh, you are uh, you are having question like uh, this is uh, the just a virtual test network so how can we deploy our smart contract on main net or main ethereum blockchain and or test net as you can see this transition costs some money uh, all this transition cost us some money and the account balance goes down so similarly uh, the test net and main net will also cost us money uh, but i have some ring key be test net at uh, ether so let's see how we can deploy it on ring key be i hope you uh, you have completed a, your metamask uh, setup and just unlock your metamask uh, and connect your wallet connect but injected provider metamask if some pop up is coming uh, just accept those pop up and uh, connect your metamask wallet so as you can see ring kiwi network 4 has been connected in using injected provider and this is my wallet address and here is my balance so to deploy this smart contract a public blockchain uh, like the public testnet so we can just deploy it and it will cost some gas to me as you can see this is how it is costing me confirm and view on ether scan as we learned about transaction in ethereum uh, we, this transaction has been confirmed we, uh, view on ether scan just reload it first warning this is the testnet transaction only on this block our uh, transaction has been recorded 11370208 and 25 second ago uh, this is a transaction hash which is uh, very necessary uh, if you want to see this page if you copy this and uh, i will share if i uh, share this transaction hash anyone can see uh, copy paste this on search and uh, search and they will get this transaction on their display this much transaction fee has been recorded for uh, charged by for charge to deploy this smart contract and transaction fee plus gas price this was the gas price and a new smart contract has been deployed uh, here as you can see this is the new smart contract so that's it uh, this is all about um remix id you can deploy your smart contract on uh, virtual environment plus uh, injected web3 using meta some testnet or mainnet using metamask so in the next videos we will be learning about uh, solidity and i hope you will be watching all of this video in this playlist it is the best and fastest way to learn uh, web3 and get into web3 development so thank you